telecast is presented live from Baltimore Scaryland and we're at b and Spank Stadium for today's game. The stadium is sold out and the atmosphere is electric. The fans want to see some hard-hitting carnage, <laughs> and so do I. I heard this city was famous for crabs, so if you get lucky tonight, Grim, make sure you take a shampoo with that Quell lotion and see a doctor. Today's matchup is going to be a good one. The teams take the field. The Malice Hellboys take on the Baltimore Razors have won the skull flip and can choose to kick off or re receive. They want the ball first. Hi, this is Grim Blitzrow, and welcome to the Mutant Football League. We'll be right back for kickoff, but first, let's listen in on the pregame speech. <laughs> And MFL game day is on the air. Grim Blitzrow and my partner Brickhead Mulligan and Mini Bricks. Heard you got a little touch of the mutant bird and pig flu. How you feeling, partner? Well, uh, the projectile vomiting finally let up, but uh, the monsoon mudslides have begun. <laughs> if you know what I mean. I've been, oh. I've been literally crapping his brains out all night. He's getting stupider by the hour, if that's even possible. And it's first and ten. Second down in a very lot. Put the buzz on the MVP conversation breaks. Got more kills than anyone in the league right now. Yeah, you make a good point. And like Bricks' bowels, he is loose and headed for the end zone. He could go all the way. We should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What? They kick the kicker's job in half? It's good. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. Second down and two. That ball was almost intercepted. Third and two. And the ball razors through the defense, cutting a defender in half. Not gonna drop that one. They need to make him a target more often. Yards. 
And it'll be second and eight to go. here and I'm not talking about the corned beef with extra mayo. It's anyone's game at the end of quarter one. Jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. Second down and ain't going to happen, partner. The receiver didn't stand a chance. Third down and never going to happen. First down, so now they have to punt. And he booted a high arcing rainbow. And he put a little too much on that ball. This will be a touchback. here just kick the ball through the upright for God's sake it's a fake kick and he makes the grab and adds two points to their score Here comes the 
Great kicker. Pa, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grin? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a bra in my bed. It was a chip wearing a wig. And it's first and ten. He's got his beast boost working. Player just transformed into a violent form of pure badass. And he fumbles it, Bricks. That was a screwed up play if I ever saw one. Touchdown! And he rips off a game breaking run for the score. Kickers, you never know. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. At the end of quarter two, it's a blowout. We now go to our halftime show sponsored by Monsatan Industries, makers of great killer products like Roundup. Use it on pesky weeds or neighbors, and they'll be gone by morning. Welcome to the... We're back for the second half in a blowout. The teams line up for the kickoff. Well, the game isn't as close as the score indicates. Oh, get them now. They all have... <laughs> the teams are lined up for the kickoff. Great kick! Too bad they don't get points for touchbacks. Him to a four yard pickup there. Second down and six. Seven. It's just like the Fourth of July, only with blood and guts. Turn. Nice catch, and he turns on the afterburners. Punt returners in this league have a life expectancy of three returns. Pow! And how about a little dirt sandwich? That's the end of the third quarter. And look, folks, I'll be honest, I don't see a chance in hell here. It might be time to change the channel. I think Heidi's playing on Superstation WKRP.
Is he dead? Ah, uh, nah, he's still moving. Crap, I have money on him biting the big one. If he don't die soon, my loan shark is gonna kill me. First and ten. He picks up a two. Two minutes left in the game. Thank God I gotta take a wicked dump. Feel like I'm sitting on a wax candle. Not a nice show to you know. Second and eight to go. Four yards on that one, and he was just starting to pick up some speed. Hey, Grim, I know a guy if that's what you're after. Either the defense is trying to keep some time on the clock for their offense, or someone let a real bonehead touch the controller. Four. And he just used his beat boost dirty trick, and there's no way to stop him. Unless, of course, you kill him. Wow, look at that freak go! He's unstoppable! Holy mother of mutant mayhem! He scored! here or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room a fake kick this is gonna ruin my fake team's fake score it can be threat the needle for two points Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty whichever QB. In the NFL, they have plays just for killing them. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. And it's first and ten. The defense better look out. The oh, he fumbled that one. Everyone loves being on the highlight reel, leaping over defender, but sometimes you get hit hard and have the ball knocked loose. The 10. He scores. He earned those points on the heels of an epic run. Ah, uh, don't call things epic, Grim. Kids aren't going to think you're cool no matter what you do. Junior, I don't want kids to think I'm cool. Should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> Straight through the uprights. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. And this guy is one of the best shit kickers in the league. And he just laid into that ball big time. Yeah, like exploding diarrhea. First and ten. The defense better watch out. The quarterback just threw a murder ball. I love the murder ball dirty trick. Oh, sure. Now he catches it. I had this guy on my fantasy team last week. I lost so much money on him. Not to mention my kneecaps. My loan shark is very anal about collecting my money on time, Graham. They stopped the clock, but they only have one timeout left. Ah, that's okay, Grim. They can have nine. That's, uh, that's nice, Bricks. But our timeouts are for our sponsors, and we need money more than they do. 
And the offense goes into a hurry-up to pick up the pace of the game. It was a risky throw, and the defense made him... Ouch! What is this, 80s wrestling? Hey, man, nobody can cut you an eyeball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. Hey, what you talking about? First and ten. like waking up next to a beautiful girl after a night of drinking. <laughs> Bonus! After a stomping like that, the opposition may be a permanent part of the field. More like a graveyard, Grim. There are body parts everywhere, and speaking of body parts, did I ever tell well, you Well, let's listen to the MVP. I'm sure he has something inspiring to say. Once again, the folks at Evil SN thank our viewing audience and the Mutant Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off. Today's game was brought to you by Comcrack Entertainment. They're not happy until you're not happy.